here we are. And oh, another handoff. Uh, we have John, who's going to talk to us about the Data Hub Hackathon that the Depop guys did. Um, and uh, you know, it was pretty cool to see them pop in, literally pop in to the community channel and say, "Hey, we're doing a hackathon." And um, you know, in a few days, they had they were contributing Glue uh, integration back to us, and you know, the Klarna folks helped them out. So thanks for that collab. I think it was really nice to see that happen. Take it away, John. Uh, can you see my screen well? Yep. Awesome. Uh, yeah, a bit of a tough one to follow that one. Uh, that looked really good. Um, so I hope I hope that is don't disappoint you here. But um, anyway, uh, my name's uh, my name's John. I'm the lead data engineer here at Depop, um, and yeah, here to talk about the hackathon that we did uh, with the data. Um, so just quick intro about Depop and who we are. We're a fashion marketplace. Um, for the next generation to buy and sell, discover unique fashion. So we're an app, basically we sell, uh, provide the ability to um, uh, sell predominantly secondhand uh, fashion uh, and sustainable fashion. You can think of us a bit like uh, eBay mixed with Instagram. That's what I told my mum anyway, um, when I joined. Uh, but um, yeah, lots of, lots of people in the UK using Depop and it's growing around the world uh, as well as the US too. Um, uh, yeah, and we're, we're growing very fast and our data needs are, are growing uh, well too. Um, so why did we look at the um, data hub? Well, uh, we need to um, enable the business to use data in a self-service fashion and we need a single lo location for all of our data needs. Um, shout out to the design crew who did that, it certainly wasn't me. Um, uh, so I'm going to walk us through some of the problems that we're trying to solve here uh, that we can see through uh, various uh, Slack messages that we've had through the company. So we've got issues with data discovery. Somebody new joins and um, they want to know about data for, for our CRM and they, they don't really know where to find it, uh, which is a bit of a shame. Um, we, we want to know data um, about recently viewed items or any data about uh, banning people in the trust platform. And uh, we don't have that single location for search. So uh, the data hub would be pretty useful there. The data lineage aspect, I don't really need to speak about this as you, have you seen a perfect um, a demonstration of how, how that works, but um, generally uh, producers and consumers and seeing who uh, where data starts and where it ends up all the way through to our looker instance. Uh, would be very useful for our uh, business users. And D uh, Depop's a startup or a scale up and, and uh, we've got lots of knowledge in our heads when we have, weren't in the, uh, the, the sort of documentation phase. So the tribal knowledge um, is pretty rife. And this, this table has a, uh, a, a, a column called active status, which over the years um, has, has baffled many people in the business, including this guy who said active status could just about mean anything. So documentation is pretty important for our uh, for our users. Uh, so what we did um, is we had uh, a hackathon uh, in the uh, in the data engineering team and and the BI team as well, and we split up and we tried to have a sort of a, a head to head against um, Amundsen and and Data Hub, um, and so we did. Um, what did we try and do? Well, um, both of them have uh, local setups um, that use Docker, and we tried to go from zero knowledge uh, of these products to getting as much production data into them as we could do inside two days. Uh, so I will just uh, change the screen, and I'm going to only show the, the demo part for the Data Hub, obviously. Um, this is what we managed to do. Um, and then I'll slip back in afterwards. So I'll start now. Um, I might need to reshare my screen actually. Two seconds. There we go. Can you, is it playing? Oh no, that's a nightmare. No, no worries. I'll quickly refresh it. We just see our desktop. 
John? Oh, that's good. Are you enjoying the mess? Um, sorry. Um, we are having yeah, a bit. We can of... see it now. We can see it now. That's good. But Data Hub didn't have any glue support, so we spent the last two days um, figuring out how we could ingest data from glue into Data Hub and we managed to do it. So that's good. Um, so if you look in data sets, we have prod thing. We have this glue here. And then uh, this then goes to a database level. So for example, if we just click in random one like data lit compacted, um, here's all of the tables that are in there. Um, if you search for product create, and then go to the one in compacted. So yeah, this has the search as well. Um, so for example, you can have, see we added a description here. Most of our data isn't really well documented, doesn't have descriptions. Um, but in the schemas, for example, in glue, you can have descriptions for each field. Um, I know there's often confusion about like what a user ID actually is. Is it the seller? Da, 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 da. So all that can be documented. Um, got the name of each field, the type on the left, the descriptions. Um, so that's the schemas. There's also ownership um, that we could pull out. All of ours are apparently owned by owner. So that's not that helpful, but that can be changed. Um, and then properties is, has um, just properties about the table that get pulled out. So just extra information in there. And then you have the option to add documents, but we didn't have any for any of those. But yeah, um, I think we're going to open a PR in the Data Hub repo for the glue support. And that's pretty much it. I don't know if I missed anything. That's cool. Um, thanks. Uh, Laurent, do you want to show the, the Looker integration? Yeah, sure. So um, basically, uh, our team, uh, Rob, Abby, and myself, we um, worked on integrating uh, the Redshift tables and Looker. Um, so as similar to the Google Scheme, as you know, the Redshift tables, we, it basically pulled uh, the tables from, from Redshift, and it has, again, schema types, uh, names of fields. Um, we also have um, in ownership and all of that. So that's existent. Um, obviously, we've implemented on it and obviously tags. Um, similar to a milestone, I think, uh, in terms of the um, like search, um, if I search for a keyword here, I'm able to see the uh, um, all the um, um, entities that have the, these particular um, tag and I can again do that the opposite way by going to the tag and then we can look up you know everything that has this tag. Uh, I think similarly if I look for a another keyword here um, um, I want to see well in this case for example it appears in the table name but in this case there's a match for a column name. so it's, it's really interesting to see that the search is very inclusive. Um, for the looker um, Implementation. So there's another um, area here um, that we've we enabled to uh, integrate um, a particular dashboard here uh, with a description. Uh, if I scroll in, I'm able to see the um, obviously tags and owners and everything can be added. I'm able to see the uh, actually the actual looks that um, are part of this dashboard. Um, in this case, we just uh, provided a few examples, but um, so if I scroll to one of them, I'm able to, um, first of all, see um, the tags. I'm able to see the, the actual tables, so the, the data source for this particular look um, in Looker. And obviously scrolling and see um, that information. Um, I can, I don't want to get out, but uh, yeah, there's um, a direct link to the, um, to the look. So that's really nice. Um, what uh, I think I've covered most of it here. 
uh, if you check uh, confirm signups, you can see documentation oh, yeah. and lineage. Yeah, yeah so uh, yeah, it, this is a, a red sheet table um, and any documentation, uh, let's say it's an ETL based or any logic that is uh, part of that um, uh, creation of the table, you are able to see that and um, each entity uh, here, you're able to see the upstream and downstream dependency. So that's very useful uh, for the tool image. Uh, cool. Uh, so that, that's the majority of uh, our demo. There's some uh, uh, FAQs afterwards, but we were presenting um, to the business, so I won't show you those. Um, so um, yeah, what we achieved uh, during the hackathon is we ingested all of our production data into the local instances. So that was Redshift, Glue, and Kafka. They all came into um, uh, our local instance of the Data Hub. We also uh, linked that chart of um, Looker in, um, and we created uh, some, we used a metadata change events to create lineage and tags and documentation and owners. And we created a more, uh, merge the pull request, uh, which was pretty nice. Um, so I think that the most important thing for us and, and probably so, uh, for any advice I could give uh, people who are here who haven't decided yet is um, why we actually picked the data hub. Um, most of, uh, the problems we had with the Munston was the, the lack of Kafka support. And when we try to integrate that with Data Hub, it just works straight away. And um, as you can see, um, uh, we added the glue integration, which was really easy. And the, the process for adding um, a new ingestion um, type was, was super, super easy. It was very straightforward. The docs were set up nicely. Um, and most, I think, um, Pedro said it earlier, the support from, uh, from the team was just amen uh, immense. It was amazing. Um, we were messaging at all times and we were getting responses and pushing that. Um, PR was, was really trivial and thanks to Klarna for helping us out there as well. Um, yeah, the, the aspect of data lineage is really important for us because we have several layers of transformations um, on a business level. Um, and Amundsen didn't really support that very well. Um, Looker uh, was a work in progress, and I, I know you said it was in the um, in the contrib folder at the minute, um, but we we're really excited to see that. Um, and just uh, all of the other bits that you've seen already, um, it, it was just super good, and we had a really good time uh, doing it and, uh, and contributing back. And we're looking forward to integrating into our production stack um, in the in the next couple of months. Um, so. Yeah, thank you very much for your help. Um, uh, I'm really pleased to be working with you, and it's been uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. Um, uh, yeah, and shout out to the team. I think Maria's here. Um, hey, Maria. Uh, thank you very much. Thanks, John. Yeah, we really enjoyed uh, all the energy that the Deepop team uh, brought into uh, the the project. So keep that coming. Awesome. So now that we have. Just a few minutes left, I wanted to do one of the things that we had promised we would do for the community um, 